Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And boy, oh boy, do I have a cool tutorial for you today. And uh, I'm only making this tutorial because I know once the music video is released, everyone will be asking how I did that cartoon effect. And also, there's no real cool cartoon effect out there right now. Everyone has these super lame cartoon effects that all look the same and generic. And I'll show you guys how to do the one that we did in the music video that looks so awesome. Brandon and I came up with this effect ourselves and it's actually stemmed from Brandon's old Photoshop tutorial how to create a sketch in Photoshop or like how to make an image look like it's been sketched. So I'm very excited to show you guys this so give the video a like and I'll provide a link in the description that you guys can go to our website and download uh, the, the project files or some, some project file. I don't know. This is actually being filmed while I'm doing a speed art or not a time lapse for the music video. See, I've already filmed me editing this part in Sony Vegas. But uh, yeah, the, now I got to the After Effects part and I was like, you know what? I'll film my tutorial about the effect while I'm doing the time lapse. So it's kind of like a time lapse-ception or something like that. I don't know, you guys always come up with cool names for that crap. So, anyway, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use uh, this main shot, Shaky, but I want to show you guys how to open it up just in case there's some newbies watching this. So, the first way you can do it is hit Command or Control I with uh, this area over here, the project window selected, and it'll bring up, you know, this thing, and you can select main shot if you want. But you can also click... Uh, double click within this blank canvas area and it'll do the same exact thing. You can select main shot shaky or you can just find the shot that you want, drag and drop it into that blank canvas area and it's all the same exact thing. So once you have this, you can click and drag it onto this little button down here to create a new composition. But here's the problem with that. It just created a composition with all of the looks that... Uh, like came with the video and we want to kind of customize this ourselves but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to composition composition settings and I know that I want this to end up being uh, 2.51 aspect ratio but I'm not going to do that right now just so you guys can witness exactly how it looks so I'm going to keep it at 1080p uh, 29.97 frames per second now we chose to go down to 12 frames per second to give it that effect. And, uh, yeah, give it kind of like a cartoon effect, you know, like a, a kind of stop motion look. So I'm actually going to click the audio off over here. If you want to turn off the audio in your, in your uh, project, you can always just do that right there. And that's uh, turning off the audio for Main Shot Shaky because I don't want to get copyrighted because this is a cover song. So anyway, here's what we're going to do first, guys. This effect requires three different layers so we're going to start with this main shot shaky we're going to with it selected we're going to hit enter so we can rename it and we're just going to call it original to keep things nice and simple so we're going to go over to the effects and presets and we're going to type in cartoon and there's a reason for that it's because we want the cartoon effect and here's where people usually mess up okay they usually don't really mess with these settings that much and they keep it like this and they're like oh that looks like a cartoon no it does not that looks like poo. Ugh, look at Brandon's face. He's disgusted with this effect right now, too. <laughs> so here's the problem. Um, this has a lot of different things to work with, and people get intimidated by that. But just follow along with me. I already made this effect. So I'm going to click and drag my preset over here, and I'm going to read this to you so you guys can type this in detail by detail so you guys can get the same effect. This is what it looks like. Now, this is just the first step to this, but this sets us up for a real good effect. I mean, that's the base to a great-looking cartoon painting look. I mean, just look at that. It looks so awesome. It looks so clean and like it's been painted. I love how it looks. Just by itself, this effect is better than any other cartoon effect I've seen on YouTube. So, I will read to you guys the, the exact settings of this, so be ready to type this in, okay? So... Render, we're going to keep on fill and edges. Detail radius is set to 12.2. Detail threshold is set to 32.5. Then we move down to the fill settings. Shading steps is at 30. Shading smoothness is at 100. Now we're down to the edge. The threshold is at 10. 
the width is at 0.7, the softness is at 0, and the opacity is at 100. And here is where a lot of people, and even the teachers on YouTube, that they made terrible tutorials, they d just ignore this advanced setting. So here's what we're going to do. Or how I, I thought this looked really cool. Brandon and I thought this looked awesome. We turned the edge enhancement all the way up to 100. And that just makes it very, very sharp on the edges. And it gives it that kind of painted look. And then the edge black level we kept at 8.5. Then the edge contrast is set to 2.07. So that is the effects that we used. And what you can do is uh, with this all, when you got it all finished, you can actually save this preset by going to the animation presets and go save selection as animation preset. Call it wherever you want. Cartoon tits. Save. And boom, now that cartoon tits is over there in the side. and You can click and drag it on anything you want. So isn't that awesome, guys? Already the first step, and we're already looking awesome. You could render this out right now, and people would be freaking out at how cool this looks. So, anyway... Moving on, the next part is, this is where it gets kind of intense, guys. So, select the original layer, hit Control D, or Command D, if you're on a Mac, and we're going to hit Enter, and we're going to rename this B and W. And that's for black and white. And we're going to go over to the effects and presets, and we're going to type in uh, Sat, for hue and saturation. We're going to click and drag it onto the black and white layer. And scroll down and we're going to make sure that the master selection or the master selection the master saturations all the way down to negative 100 and that just makes it black and white and uh, some people will probably like how that looks but anyway the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit commander control D once again we're going to hit enter and we're going to call this blur and this is where the effect gets pretty intense so what we're going to do is we're going to type in in the effects and free presets invert channel inverted we're going to click and drag it onto the blur layer then we're going to type in blur scroll down go to the directional blur click and drag it onto the blur layer going to and then uh, the settings that we want to mess with here are we're going to change the direction to 45 degrees and the blur length to 300 and there you go guys you're done now <laughs> doesn't that just look amazing now I can't take complete credit for this effect. I'm just kidding, guys. Goodness. You thought I was serious, you silly people. So anyway, <laughs> here's what we're going to do now. Now that you have this cool looking, you know, blurred lines, we're going to you're going to select blur and we're going to make sure that we have our blending modes up. So hit F4 to bring up the blending modes. And we're going to do color dodge for the blur layer. Then we're going to click and drag the original onto the top. We're going to set it to color. And then we're going to select the blur layer. We're going to hit T. And we're going to drop the opacity down until we have the effect that we desire. So, I mean, you can kind of see it on the back. That looks so cool. It looks like it's been painted and smeared. Oh, it looks so awesome. I'm actually going to put it up to 40. Yeah. And I love how washed out it looks. Oh, my goodness. It's just such a cool effect, guys. Oh, I love it. I just freaking, oh, I can't say that stuff anymore. I'm, I'm a good boy now. Change my, <laughs> fine, you make, you're making me say, I jizzed in my pants. Oh, my goodness, look how cool that tree looks. Oh, this effect is so awesome. And you can see what we did right there, that kind of smeared look. It's just awesome, guys. Every single part, every picture in this just looks amazing. Oh, look at my bracelets right there. It looks so cool. So, anyway, that is how we created this effect. And uh, actually, I'm going to go up to the composition settings now. And I'm going to go to the, where is it? Oh, right here. And I'm going to drop this down until this right here says 2.51. All right there. Hit OK. Awesome. Now we have a nice widescreen look. And that's the effect that you guys are going to see in the final video. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm very excited to release this uh, music video and this song and stuff. So if you guys want to see 
our other songs and the other music videos we've done, you can go to uh, youtube.com slash The Takeover Project, or I'll just put a link in the description. You guys can go there. The video will be released on Monday. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited, and I hope you guys learn something. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next Friday for another Effects Friday. I love you. <laughs>